Scarecrow. Okay, so K7 showing up with a swamp thing? Fighters approaching Fortress of Solitude. Yeah, my bad, yeah. Oh, How you good? What up, Slick? It's good, it's good, man. What about you? Shit, yeah, nothing chilling. You know, yeah. another staff showdown. Ooh. Oh, here come the lag. All right. Um, it's an interesting message out here. Uh, yes. Swamp Thing was a scarecrow. Oh, you don't see that too often. It's probably because you rarely ever see Swamp Thing. Yeah, true, man. The only Swamp player I ever played against was like Adrian Hernandez. But right now, Cordy Guy is going in with the corner presser. Definitely, he got him locked down in the corner. And K7 trying to work his way out. Almost already at the middle of the stage. By K7, good range by Scarecrow. Ryan is his jump three and his back three are really good in this um, in this match. Using the interactable, trying to work his way out, putting on pressure. Ooh, it's nice by K7 reading the man grab there. All right, corner guy trying to get in there. Need to burn it. Didn't get anything off of it though. Oh, getting stretched out. Nice little sweep. Yo, nice footsies there by Corny. Uh, definitely needed that. Raybar out of the way. Ooh, I thought that 4 3 was gonna connect. I'm not gonna lie. Aish! Damage by one thing right now. Great right now, they're pretty, there. pretty even on life, but K7 happens to have the four bars of meter and trait. Here he is. Oh, he couldn't get anything off of it. That's very unfortunate. Yo, the walk down to the mid from back three cancels. Not letting him flash. Oh, oh okay. That was very desperate. Oh, but he's still caught him. Yo, what is this? <laughs> I was about to say, he's still in this thing. <laughs> Yo, that was very smart approach by Corny God towards the end there. He definitely needed to make something happen, but I'm not sure this, the super was the right approach. But he did he manage to get inside, but you know, without him being aware, uh, K7 did activate uh, Scarecrow. It was a trait, which you take damage over time if you're close enough. Yep, definitely. I mean, that was looking pretty cool at the end there, corner guy. Definitely like he was trying to make a comeback, Scarecrow. but unfortunately he got hit by that trait and got fucked up. <laughs> Swamp thing. Definitely. All right, here we are going Fighters right back into it. K7 City. with his Scarecrow and Corny Guy with the Swamp Thing pick. Right now, K7 is only having the one win right now. Corny Guy in the stream chat saying the green is always in. <laughs> I see you. Begin. All right. All right. Low sweep. Putting on the pressure. Get hit by that low log. Background box. Nice. Ooh, drops the combo. Drops combo. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a trade there between both uh, players there. Calling out Trey. Putting the pressure on him. Trying to be plus. Interrupting Eesh. that shit is Corny Guy. That was a good interruption by Corny Guy, knowing he was out space there. Ooh. Oof, a lot of drop combos now, guys. <laughs> yep, Scarecrow happened to have the trade out. Nice little teleport. Calling the trade again. Here we got the damage over time. Getting close, the corner guy. Oh, I like the idea that K7 was put on there. Active any trade, try to play your way and take damage over time. But the corny, corny guy was able to uh, be the oppressor. And this middle pack picks the damage right now. Damn. 
Hey yo, Slick Go Phantom is in the chat. He said, "How you gonna say you the only swamp you play is Kane? Did you forget about him?" <laughs> well, well, Go. At the time you weren't playing, uh, I did I did play your dead shot. You did play swamp me against me. But I mean, I still remember that one time I died by down one, down one, down one by swamp me against me. What's the latest thing ever? Here is Corner Guy putting K7 into the corner. Nice throw. Trying to keep the pressure on. Here's another throw. Just bullying up. Waking up with a back three. Keeping it unclashable. Going into trade. Throwing it interactively. Getting down to the wire, man. If K7 can activate this trade, but he doesn't Ooh. need it, jump three would do the answer. And K7 is up two games to Corny Guy zero. But Corny Guy still looking like he's in this. I mean, his swamp thing is still looking good. Even when he loses, still looking good. Uh, very very close matches between both Scarecrow Swamp thing <laughs> Fighters approaching slaughter swamp So what you think that corny guy needs to do to get these wins off of k7? Um, I think he just needs to uh, be a little bit more patient uh, work on his spacing because they both are whipping but they're getting to uh, you know begin uh, just gotta be more patient. That's it. That's all I gotta say. He's doing a good job executing. You know when he needs to get inside, but right now he's being like, oh, this is big damage here. Reset compressor. Yo, nice read on the down two there. Cancel. Nice wake up counter and corner guy trying to get out of the corner, but meeting him in the air is K7. Yeah, Kessler is doing a great job. You know? Uh, out space Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing is a very, has very great normals, you know, close that gap between a lot of characters, especially against Flash, uh, you know, he actually wins that match because he's actually a 6 4. Stream Chat is out here trying to give uh, Coin the Guy some tips with the Swamp Thing. Looking like some nice damage that was right there. Been stretched out, he has his trait available. Interesting trade there, using trade to Smash Melee 25, what's good, what's up? Shout out to everybody who's watching right now. Welcome to this Savage Showdown. We happen to have K7 and his Scarecrow versus Corny oh. Guy and his Swamp Thing. And he does hit him with a super. Jeez, man, I think, hopefully he doesn't uh, back, backtrack him. Later, later in the round right now, because K7 still has available to four bars. It's all pressure right now. Cancel, cancel, plus frames. Here he goes, K7 with the pressure. Great interruption there by Quinter Guy, but K7 again is on the pressure. Oh, that look is getting down to the wire, guys. Quinter Guy. Not More pressure. Enough. What great spacing there by K7, good awareness, great interruption, but he gets caught by Corny Guy's down two cancel for the command grab. Corny Guy is on the board. 2-1, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Yeah, he is on the board. Uh, he does happen to have that one win to k 7 too. So, I mean, we don't want to see no wash. We don't want to see no 5-0. Go ahead, fight back, Corny Guy. I see you in the Swamp Thing. The green is still alive, ladies and gentlemen. Corny guy is still in there up on the board. K7, though, he's still sitting on top, though. He's still in a very strong lead. He's up by uh, one game. I believe it's 2 1. Fighters approaching contact. Um, it's very interesting uh, for me to see K7 uh, use Scarecrow. He usually plays a Canary, and he has a very strong Canary. Uh, I played this Firestorm. I think this is another character. Again. This pick is very interesting for me to see. And, yeah, what I've noticed with some of these Necros, they definitely play multiple characters, so that's very interesting to see. K7 usually is playing his Black Canary, but tonight he said, fuck it, he's gonna play with his Scarecrow. Yeah, yeah. Great punish there by K7, bringing him straight to the corner. Ooh, that juicy 48% damage, and then down one is gonna take it. And just like that, Corny Guy's health is fucking deleted. And getting pressed <laughs> in the back of the head is K7. Hey, Smash Melee, thank you for following the stream. Appreciate it. Oh. Great 
punish there by K7. Copy up trade, nice conversion there. More pressure plus frames. He's going on a tear right now. No whiff punish there. Jumping in. Okay. Nice back three and keeping it unclashable is K7. K7 with the three wins to corner guys one. But it was it's definitely looking good though. Nice. A good adjustment there from K7. He just capitalized his mistakes from last match. He just struck that mid last match off and just continued to execute his, uh, his game pro. <clears throat> now, as far as I know, Corner Guy only does play Swamp Thing, so we will not see another pick for him. But at the same time, I mean, if you're a loyalist, if you believe in the green, you can make it work. Approaching Fortress of Solitude. Yeah, I definitely, definitely believe in the green. Can't count none of the green out, you know. Uh, Swamp Thing. Does a man of damage, especially when he has straight. You can't move out of his straight. You can't jump. You can't back dash. You can't use uh, specials under the piece. So he has a really good trait. We meet again, Scarecrow. I recall dashing you and getting away. This time I am prepared. Begin. Yo, these intros, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nice background bounce from Corny Guy, getting that nice 36% damage. Nice job, they're gaming their council there. Ooh, Great he attempt was so there by close. Corny Guy with the back three. Yep, he was so close to catching him with that back three, but it did not work out for him. Here's the teleport. Mm. Nice. Keeping it simple, nice. Nice reactions by Corny Guy right now. He's doing it in an phenomenal job. Making great adjustments from last match. And believing in the green is oh! Corny Guy looking strong. Nice little cross up. But K7 is back in control. Got him in the corner. Call him trade. Nice pushback there. Mm, putting on a juicy damage. 378. And that is your life. K7 is just like that is back in the game, but Corny Guy is ready to, to advance and close this one out. Nice plus frames. It's very interesting to see two grappler uh, you know, characters grab each other with command grabs. It's very interesting. Nice. Keeping it unclassable there from K7. Here come all these jump ins. Okay. Oh, Who's that does not look good. Mmm. When it guy? Uh, Gotta be clutch? Okay, K7 with the clash. My anger grows. I don't know, I don't think it, only a true master can make it. Yeah, it was pretty much one touch and you're dead. K7 didn't have to so. win. And K7 trying to run away with it, having to have four wins to Corny Guy's one. Um, but every match, I'm telling you, Corny Guy looks good every fucking match, but he just can't see the deal on some of these. So that's very unfortunate to see. But at the same time, that just means K7 is going off. Definitely, yeah. You could just tell that um, uh, K7 is just capitalizing on those, those mistakes that Corny Guy is lacking in. Like, he's not adapting to a certain situations, and K7 just. You know, uh, you know, takes advantage of that, and you know, advances with this um, this pressure and pun punishes him for it. You know, for his hesitation of not uh, executing what he wanted to do. And uh, K7 is doing a fantastic job right now doing that. <clears throat> for the people in the chat, you know, what do you think about this matchup, uh, Scarecrow versus Swamp Thing? Is this a five-five or what is it? What do you think, Slick? That's a Swamp interesting thing. matchup. You don't see this matchup too often, so. I would honestly say it might be in um, in Scarecrow favor. Fighters are six four. On paper, it might be in six four in uh, Scarecrow's favor. But that's just me. <laughs> Lego Help said he's never seen this matchup, but fuck Scarecrow. <laughs> Gold Phantom said five five. He's played the matchup with Ragnarok a lot, so he believes it's definitely a five five. And VTech and Smash saying five five. I, it has looked like it could go anyway, just unfortunately that it just looks like K7 is getting the best of Corny Guy. 
guys. Okay, corn guy is starting to start to do something right now. We got some footsies going on. Plus frames. Nice push block. Getting away from that yeah, pressure. Yeah. yeah, unnecessary chip damage he had to take, so it was a smart push block there by my guy. Low key, these characters really got some reach. I mean, we all know Scarecrow's got got some reach, but uh, <laughs> Swamp Thing got some reach too. Nice nah, being run back through there by Kessler, mm. bringing him back to the corner. Yeesh. That would have been a restand, but that was his life. So he has him in the <laughs> corner now. Is K seven? Nice little neutral duck blocking the four three. Yo, corny guy feels very comfortable in the corner. Look how he's just standing his ground. And this is the trait that I was talking about. If Swamp Thing has him in his trait, he cannot move. Alright, and corny guy taking a health bar of K7. And he tried to go into that trait, but it did not work out for him. Corny guy happened to have K7 to the corner now. And as soon as I say that, they side switch. Pressure by K7 right now. He has swapping in the corner, but that does not matter. Getting a minute back three, gaining some life back. Corny guy side switch the corner. Perfect. What's the pressure? Oh what? my gosh! How did that shit work? Kurt <laughs> guy is not trying to get hit right now. Nice using his duplicate. Oh, that's gonna hurt! And that was unfortunate. Corny guy tried to pull off his trait, then do a meter burn roll and catch him in the grass and all that thorns and shit. But K7 was not having it and he ended that shit. That's his five wins. The corny guy's won, but it was looking great. GG's to everybody.